Today on To The Point, our guest helped kick off the sensation that is World of Dance. Welcome to Popcorn Talk, featuring movie discussion, news, and interviews. Popcorn Talk. We talk movies. Welcome on in to The Point, presented by Popcorn Talk and Dance Network. And we are so excited about today's guest. If you watched season one of World of Dance, then you know this name for sure. It's Eva Igo. Hi. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thanks. I'm so happy this finally worked out. Me too. Uh, this has been, I feel like, three years in the making. Right. <laughs> we finally got you here. Um, and this worked out because you're here um, dancing this week. Yeah. Yeah, what are you doing? Tell us all. Um, I'm... Doing the IAF experience with Keon. Keon, if you watch So You Think You Can Dance, the season nine winner, mm -hmm. the male winner, because there were two winners that year. He's fantastic, yeah. isn't he? Yeah, he's now, amazing. For people that don't know what Keon is up to, which I, it's really incredible mm -hmm. what he has created. For sure. Um, explain what the IAF experience is like for you guys. Um, so basically, it's like a whole week of classes and training, and it's really amazing because... There's a whole bunch of different experiences like film class and like hip hop and jazz, contemporary. There's everything there. And yeah, Keon's great. I love him. He's really teaching everyone how to learn to dance on film. Yeah. And in, in a different way, instead of just, I mean, we see a lot on social media and everyone dancing at Millennium and yeah. things like that. But in a very, I think, artistic way, I think that's yeah. a different level. Mm -hmm. He really like does different theming and everything. And it's amazing. So tomorrow I have classes that are themed camera classes, which will be really cool. Do you know what the theme is? I don't know yet. You don't know yet. Um, I've seen some of his when he just, the studio's filled with water. Yeah. Oh. They're so sick. They're so good. Mm -hmm. And I kind of want to go in and be like, I don't really dance anymore, but can I do like a pirouette or two? <laughs> yeah. And will you film it, please? Because I just know his eye for the camera, too, yeah. is really mm -hmm. sharp. Yeah, he can film and take pictures, choreograph everything. He's a great director. He mm -hmm. really is. Yeah. I know. So, um, what did I tell you to tell him? Um, that you're waiting for him to come still. <laughs> yes, exactly. I just wanted to make sure she knew her message when she goes back. <laughs> she's headed back there later today. But that was my that was my big joke. I'm like, Keon, <laughs> Keon knows this too. And everyone, if you're wondering, like, why hasn't Keon been Keon been on? He's very busy. Yeah. But I've got my eye on him. And now I'm sending Eva Igo after him. <laughs> I'll let him know. Yes, you're my heavy. <laughs> You're going to send in the muscle. <laughs> All right. One thing I love talking about when it comes uh, to you and your training is, of course, Larkin Dance Studio. Yeah. Big part of why you've been such a great success, why Taylor Steve has been such a great success, <laughs> Ellie and Ava Wagner has been yep. such a great success, and now we have one of the top five ladies on So You Think You Can Dance Season 16, Madison Jordan. Yep. What did you, did you find out yesterday that she was in the top five, or did you hear a whisper or two ahead of time? Um, I heard a little bit. A little bird, yes. A little bit, yeah. So, what are your thoughts on her? Because I think she's a very versatile dancer. Right. Um, I love her. Um, she's been, like, sister to me since I was, like, eight, so I've done privates with her since we were both young, and, yeah, I love her. What is she like as a teacher? Um, it's hard to remember, because I was, like... You were so tiny. <laughs> yeah, I was really little, but... Yeah, she was always really great. We always were in, like, the small studio. Cause it was, like, 30-minute, $5 privates. Like, it was fun. <laughs> we were 30-minute, $5 privates? Yeah. <laughs> this is, that's a great deal. Yeah. <laughs> and what, would she look at your solo and yeah. give you some, like, pointers and things like yeah, that? Yeah, we find it? Yeah, we mostly did my solo and both of them. I had two at the time, so. <laughs> I want in on this 30-minute, $5 tutorial here. <laughs> Do they still offer that at Larkin? Uh, yeah, a lot of the, like, junior senior line like the older kids will help the little kids same price same amount that's a great idea yeah. though because it's you learn how to teach and you learn how to you know yeah. make corrections mm -hmm. and you earn a little bit of money yeah <laughs> and then you guys get mentored by some of the older dancers yeah it's great is this why you guys are so good <laughs> no tell us the secret because this is kind of this is a family business it's mm -hmm. ellie and ava's great grandmother i believe that started this studio yeah um well Michelle and Molly Larkin own it, and their mom, Shirley Larkin, mm -hmm. owned it, and then it's been passed down to them. And Ellie and Ava's grandma is Michelle Larkin. So, yeah. <laughs> so what is it about the training that, because I, I, one thing I just said about Madison in today's article on Dance Network, I said, I find that the Larkin dancers are always very grounded in your technique. That when you're, whether you're on a big stage at World of Dance, or mm -hmm. so you think you can dance, you guys 
I don't ever worry about what's happening to you guys on the stage because <laughs> I feel like you guys have a strong core. I feel like that the technique is never Thank going you. to fail you. You know, even if you know you're like, uh, this may be not my best dance performance, your technique is still under you. So it's always <laughs> it's always helping you out in that moment. Yeah. Um, well, for sure, we do tons of ballet. We do almost every day of the week. I think we have two days without ballet. I like to hear that, Eva. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we do a lot of it. But, yeah, it's hard. We have really amazing teachers. Are you also taking jazz and contemporary and doing acro? Um. Yeah, we do jazz and contemporary, and Madison's boyfriend does the acro sometimes with ah. us. So yeah, we get a lot. I from love that. that. He everything. was also featured mm-hmm. on. So you think this season? Yeah, he had, he had a nice run too, all the uh-huh. way through the academy. For sure, he's a teacher at Larkin. So yeah, <laughs> all these all these Larkin connections, which is pretty amazing. Do you guys tap? That's what I want to know. We do tap. Um, I've. Usually it's, like, one of the first things you learn. Like, I started dancing when I was three, Mm -hmm. and you start in, like, baby ballerinas, and then you have a little tap class, and you do it at recitals. And then once you get into comps, you have a jazz and a tap dance. And, yeah. So if – I'm not going to do this, so don't worry. I'm not putting you on the spot. (laughs) But if I handed you a pair of tap shoes and were like, could you do a tap routine, would you be able to do one today? Um, I might be able to do our, like, senior line one. I'm not okay. very good at okay. it. But <laughs> it's good to have. You, I, I, This is my thing, and, and I've been kind of, like, paying attention to what's happening in the dance scene. I feel like tap is making, not that it ever went away, people, yeah. but I feel like where five years ago we were expecting contemporary dancers and hip-hop yeah. dancers to know ballroom, mm-hmm. and you guys all know ballroom now, I feel like <laughs> tap is where everyone yep. has to now kind of step up. For sure. Yeah, tap's amazing, and, like, I wish I was better at it. I'm terrible at it. <laughs> I'm so I bad. love it. I love to watch it. I love to listen to it. Mm-hmm. I try and do it, and I'm a mess. Uh, syncopated <laughs> rhythm is my body just doesn't want to do it. I like to just count in eights, and that's it. Yeah, yeah, it's hard. Like I'm always like tapping, and then I'm be like, oh, that wasn't right. And I'll, yeah, <laughs> convention classes that like all the conventions are really hard for tap. I'm like, oh gosh. There are some good teachers out there. Like a- anytime I I've seen an Anthony Morigerato. Yeah. Uh, class he's not easy Uh uh-uh not at all so hard (laughs) and he makes it look so easy because he's so relaxed into his style Mm -hmm. and then you listen to it and you're like oh (laughs) there's the truth yeah (laughs) (laughs) no you were sort of you i was you you guys were kind of the guinea pigs with season one on world of dance yeah you had no idea of really what you were walking into no idea and i remember i interviewed you after kind of the whole hype and you guys had a long time to wait because you taped the show, and then the show ran, and then I saw you at the World of Dance tour yeah. when I came here to California. We actually have a photo, the very first photo you and I ever took, um, and we'll find it in just a moment. There it is. <laughs> you were shorter than me. That is, that's not the case anymore. <laughs> um, but it's it's you know it's interesting because I've got to imagine that you didn't wrap your brain around what happened until probably six or seven months after the fact. Yeah, not even, I don't even think. Have you done, has, have you wrapped your brain around it now, what you accomplished? Yeah, it's crazy though, it just seems so long ago now. <laughs> like every, everything that's happened in between, it's just crazy. Like my life completely changed after it. It really yeah. did. So so take us back, I believe it was a producer that had reached out to you. Yeah, um, Kelly Parker. Did they slide into your DMs on Instagram? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she saw one of my videos on one of the like dance YouTube channels and it was just like car, solo just that she just DM'd me and was like do you want to come audition in Chicago and I was like for sure so and your mom was on board with this thing and this yeah. is a good opportunity well she was kind of like I don't know like but then like my mom's best friend her name's Lisa and she was like oh no you gotta do it like she was she grew up dancing is that my Taylor's mom. mother Lisa no okay I was like because Taylor's mom obviously Taylor understands too <laughs> she went on so you think yeah but um so she said, you have to do this. You knew yeah. that Jayla was attached at this yeah, point. Yeah, but, so. like, we weren't sure at all what it was going to be like. Like, my mom, like, doesn't know much about dancing, none mm-hmm. of it. So she was like, oh, I don't know. And <laughs> Lisa was like, yes. Do it. <laughs> yeah. So you go and you do your solo. Did mm-hmm. you do two? I think usually you do two dances. Yeah, I did two. I did Man's World and my contemporary one from the year before. It was just, like, instrumental. Okay. Yeah. And it, it went well. Yeah, it went great. And so how long did you find out afterwards that you were going to be a part of season one? Did they wait a couple months? Um, Yeah, it was a couple months. Um, I auditioned with my friend Alex, and he was in the trilogy. 
Oh, okay, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, so Sarah and Kevin also go to Larkin with Alex. Larkin kids. <laughs> so we just did, like, a duet. So I did two duets with him and two solos. Mm-hmm. And they ended up just wanting the solo. And then, yeah. So, like, I think it was, like, October or something that I found out. All right. So, <laughs> and then this, the taping schedule has now changed, of course. But at mm-hmm. the time, you guys all went, or, or I think January. Yeah. Now going back to, what, January 2017, yep. if I'm correct. January. Yeah. And th- what was crazy about this is you guys had very little time in between shows to, like, do another solo if you made it to the next round. Yeah. Um. Well, I still remember the day. It was January 18th. I remember freaking out about it That's since October. So I'm like, oh, God, January 18th. I have this many days. That was your first day on set. <laughs> yeah, that was my first day. I flew in, and then I was there. And I, like, saw Diana and Mahasevich sisters. Yeah, Diana Pombo, everyone, yeah. <laughs> who has been here uh, on the show. And the Mahasevich sisters. We see Madeline all the time. I just yeah. saw her perform last week mm-hmm. with Unity LA. Yeah, amazing. Look at that. I know. <laughs> it was a really good performance. It was at Dancer Palooza. Yeah. yeah. Um, so many different ties to the dance industry. It's mm-hmm. amazing. I'm like this, this yeah. crazy web of everyone connected. Yeah. What was your first performance like you're in the qualifiers I have said and I've said this multiple times on the show I went and did a set visit for season three yeah I stepped on that stage and I thought this is overwhelming yeah it's a lot uh-huh and sometimes I think when you're younger it's less overwhelming because you're you have less you don't think about the fear as much as an adult when I'm like oh yeah. my gosh what am I doing but were you scared because you're out there alone you're not you're not a duo you're not in a group yeah. it's all Eva yeah it's scary um I was 14, and I was, like, in the tents, and then all of a sudden they were like, oh, we're going to go down behind, you're going to be, like, some of the fill-ins in the background, and we're like, oh, God. And we walk down, and you see the tunnel, and, like, Ian Eastwood, and, like, everybody's there, and I'm like, oh, my God. My mom's like, what is going on? We play twins is <laughs> over here. Uh, here's what I want to know. Who was the first person that you saw and you thought, wait, how did I get on this show? Like, how am I here? I'm from Minnesota. Well, I, me and my mom got in the elevator to go to our hotel like the minute we got there and Keone and Mari are in there and we're like what's going I on been like, I, wait, 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 let me get the next plane back to Minnesota no, I mean you totally belong there but it is overwhelming Thanks. to see these incredible legends in the industry yeah it's it was insane and season one was like stacked everybody that was like anyone was there and I was like what am I doing here I'm just this random person from Minnesota what's going on no you were there to let everyone know this is my name people (laughs) (laughs) that's where you were there for (laughs) you're like I'm gonna be there alongside (laughs) Keone and Mari um and those tents, I it was very rainy that winter too. By the yeah. way, and I remember you guys like I would see video and stuff like on social media, and like everyone is like freezing, and then they have to go on set yeah. and try uh-huh. and warm up and things like that. And and I remember from season one, a lot of people telling me that every corner of the hotel you were staying at was someone trying to just rehearse, whether it was a crew. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they like put a tent like down the hall by the convention center. And it's just, like, this tent, freezing cold, dripping from the rain. Like, there's, like, a hard floor just chilling. And it's, like, in the parking lot. Oh, my gosh. So they just put, like, one of those, like, convention floors, just put it on, this carpet. (laughs) And you're like, this doesn't feel that good on my body (laughs) whatsoever. And it's cold and rainy on top of it. I remember, I think even Kyle Van Newkirk was saying, I had a room next to Fiction. And he was trying to tap, and he had, like, a cane. And he was like, I think I was keeping Fiction up all night at 2 a.m. So really kind of amazing yeah now how were how many solos did you come prepared with um originally the only ones I didn't have were my last two okay so divisional finals and then world final well at the time it was the like extra one with the song that they chose oh okay so So you're two for world final yeah okay I had the rest but like a lot of it got changed while I was there because they put in props and everything so I was like okay (laughs) you okay so you (laughs) you have your solos yeah um and then they're starting to add props and 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 set pieces and things (laughs) like that did it start throwing you off a little bit or was it easier to to explore and um well it was hard Michelle Larkin choreographed all of mine Mm -hmm. and like Tassandra was Tassandra Chavez was a supervising choreographer that yeah, season. Yeah, she yep. was. Her and Kyle, Nappy Tabs, they were all there, so they were helping me out a lot. I mostly had Tassandra to, like, help change things and, like, Great. fix things, get it with the camera. She's like, so everything. good. Yeah. I love her. She's amazing. That's <laughs> the reason why she's an Emmy nominee this year. <laughs> um, and I, but I think she's got a really good eye, so she took very good care of you. Yeah. Do you, is Creep still your favorite? 
I, I think the last time I asked you, I was you were like, it's creep. I know it changes a lot. Oh, like, I love that um, it changes though. Yeah, it changes. Well, what makes you like? Do you go back every once in a while and like see a clip of it and think, oh, I yeah. actually like that one. Uh huh. Like I just watched Ready or Not. And I'm like, oh man, I miss that. You're like, that was a good solo. <laughs> What round did you, because everything was so new, I even remember covering it and just not knowing what to expect on, on my end. What round did you know that you, you're you thinking, I, I might make it <laughs> even to divisional finals or I might make it to the world final? Um, I feel like probably divisional finals was like, whoa, the next round and it's the end. It's crazy. Right. But I was like, there's no way. But <laughs> but someone had to go because someone from the junior category yeah. was supposed to represent you guys. Yeah. So it was and it was either you or Diana Pombo. Right. Which I mean, either one, mm-hmm. great contenders. Uh huh. And I like knew who she was beforehand because she won Dance Awards like a year before that or something. Was she backstage intimidating you and wiping her foot <laughs> with her forehead? <laughs> you guys weren't doing that, I know. <laughs> she, but I, I remember that move, and, and J-Lo was like, what are you yeah. doing wiping your foot into your forehead? She, Crazy. Very flexible. For sure. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah. Um, do you have memories of you guys backstage or yeah. waiting to go on? Uh-huh, for sure. Well, the day that we had to dance like we had rehearsals on stage before that so I was like oh I'm not as scared anymore it's the first time I walked in and saw Ian and all of them <laughs> <laughs> I know the first time you're like whoa yeah <laughs> but like I was backstage and like half of the juniors had to go home because of like time and like eight hours like then you're done that's right so for yeah. people that don't know there are child labor laws here in California and depending on your age it changes at yeah. different ages 12 14 16 um you have a certain work day and yeah. school day so yeah, so, like, half of, like, Diana got to go take a break at the hotel and everything, and there were a few more, and I was, like, one of the first few people to go, so I was, like, freaking out. I was like, Mom, I can't do this. I can't do this, because <laughs> I'm, like, seeing j and she's like, hi, guys, like, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, she's no. So nice. Yeah. <laughs> she loves so all her babies. She loves the junior category. Mm-hmm. She loves the juniors, yeah. Yeah, she, she was always like, my babies. <laughs> um... Well, let's talk about the judges because I think it's I think they each represent something different and mm-hmm. they give different types of feedback. For sure. Whose feedback and critique was really resonating with you that you kind of understood and go, I know how to fix that? Uh-huh. Well, Derek did the more, like, technical aspects of it. Mm-hmm. So, like, I really took those ones. And Jayla did, like, the emotions and everything. And Neo was like, I really just need to feel something and, like... All of that. So yeah, he's a, yeah he's like a he's a tough judge. He's a tough judge. Uh-huh. Very picky. Um, and he, yeah, he's very picky. And then, but I ne- and I never know how to read him because sometimes yeah. I think, oh, he's gonna hate this, yeah. and then he loves it for sure. He'll be like, and then we'll be like, and he'll be like, no, that was good. I know <laughs> there there were some interesting ones this season. Then I was like, nope, nope, he's gonna hate it. And yeah. then he came out with some really nice things to say. And other yeah. times I think that it's a piece totally tailored to yeah. his style. And then like, he no, wants more. Yeah, quite. it's no. really interesting. Um, so what was that world final like? You're up against Lay Twins. It's <laughs> the two of you. Um, this is such a big deal. And this is it's when crazy. I go. Will you ever wrap your brain around the fact that it was you and my twins? <laughs> no. And this is where the world is like, this is Eva Igo. Yeah. It was crazy. Like, whenever I see, like, videos, like, it doesn't seem like it's me. You know, is like, it body seeing your experience? children pictures. Yeah, like, you see pictures and you're like, no, that's not me. Like, <laughs> I was just, like, looking, like, before and I was like, that's me. That's crazy. You're like, how is that possible? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I love that there, there's a great photo of you and one of the late twins, and yeah. they're, like, picking you up and, mm-hmm. like, celebrating. Yeah. I mean, that's so sweet. Yeah, they were so nice. They were so nice. Yeah, I, I love that they were good to you guys, too, because, yeah. you know, they just won a million dollars, but yeah. they were still, like, <laughs> I mean, you have to be so proud of what you accomplished in that. And I have to say, that summer, so many people were like, will you get Eva Igo on the show? I'm like, she lives in Minnesota. She's not here. Yeah. <laughs> it was hard to uh, even catch you even on tours, you know, when you did yeah, come here. Yeah, for sure. So. I was really busy. You yeah. were really busy. Yeah. <laughs> so the the show airs, the final airs. What was that first few months like? Trying to go back to sort of whatever normal was. Um. Well, I think it was. I filmed it January through February, and then it was like May, the end of May that it aired, and I was just like, "Wow, this is gonna be crazy!" And then it happened, and I was like, one of the last weeks to like air, and I was like. 
this is really scary, I'm nervous. Mm -hmm. And it went great, you know? Like, I messed up a lot in the first solo. You did? Yeah, I messed up a lot. Are you kidding? Yeah. It looks so good. (laughs) Thanks. You look at it, and you know what the choreography is, but we don't. Yeah, but, like, I did a handstand, and I went the wrong way, my headstand. I I just messed up everything. (laughs) But see, this is what I'm saying about all of you Larkin dancers. (laughs) Your technique never fails you, because even if you're going the wrong way, Mm -hmm. your body has the muscle memory to kind of, like, no, I'll I'll save this. Yeah. And so, in your head, you're thinking, oh, I just screwed this up, but we don't know. Yeah. I, there's just, like, one specific moment I remember. Um, it's in the beginning of my qualifiers dance, and I was, like, in a leg, and I, like, lean forward, and J-Lo's behind. There's, like, a camera guy mm-hmm. running around the with the camera. Cam, yeah. yeah. And J-Lo's, like, looking at me like this, and I'm like... <laughs> You're like, did you see that? <laughs> that wasn't what I was going to do. She was but... looking at me right in the eye, and I was... <laughs> Really nervous. It takes you out sometimes. Yeah. Like you're you're in your head. You're like I'm doing fine. And then mm-hmm. you're like, hello, J Lo. Yeah. <laughs> I have like the exact picture of it in my mind of the camera guy and the J Lo in the red dress with the bun. And you're thinking, what? <laughs> How, How did, did I get I here? Get here? <laughs> it it is, and I, I think you know it's funny for kids that grow up, but maybe in New York City and in Los Angeles, yeah. life is very different. I mean, mm-hmm. I grew up in a small town, Massachusetts, and yeah. the first year I covered the Oscars when I was on the red carpet, <laughs> and I was an adult. I was not 14 years old. Yeah. I thought, how the heck did I get right. here? And I've got to imagine that that is a very similar moment where you're thinking, I'm just from Minnesota. Yeah. Like I'm taking dance classes. Yeah, like LA kids, it's the norm. It it but is like, the norm. Yeah. yeah, they're they're seeing this on a regular basis, and they're they're working in the industry. And you guys would see a lot of the choreographers and, and dancers that aren't yeah. at conventions and conventions. things like that. But when you get to the big stage at NBC <laughs> or at Universal Studios, you're like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you went on tour after. Yep. What was the tour like? Because people are screaming. I, I went and saw that tour, and <laughs> people were really excited to see you and <laughs> Diana and, and everyone else that was on there. Mm-hmm. It was crazy. We went to a bunch of different states. We were on a bus. It was fun. I got to share a bus with Mahasevich sisters, their mom, and Diana and her mom, and then Jenilyn from Luca and Jenilyn. Because Jenilyn was underage, so Luca and Jen and Luca was an adult. Luca, yeah. yeah. He was on the adult bus. (laughs) On the adult bus. That's hilarious. They had the kid bus and the adult bus. Yeah. But I've got to imagine that that was such a fun fall for you guys because... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was crazy, but I had my computer... Online school, everything. And you, you had been homeschooled before World of Dance even, yeah. even started. It was crazy because I wasn't online schooled until eighth grade. And for some, for, it was just random. I was like, oh, I want to be online schooled. And like, it took my parents some convincing, but they were like, okay. So I did it. And then all of a sudden I get the message, oh, do you want to come audition? Interesting. I was like, that just worked out perfect. What yeah, the sometimes heck? the universe is like working behind the scenes yeah. going, we got something for you coming. So yeah. try and sell your parents on that online mm-hmm. school. And that works well for you. It works well for your schedule and dance yeah. classes and things like that. Mm-hmm. I've got to, I, I think most dancers now are homeschooled or some sort of charter school because... Yeah. or like some online classes, some real ones, you know? Because when you're doing the convention circuit, a lot of times you have to be there on Friday, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, Fridays will be like, solo competitions and it can be crazy yeah missing and like for rehearsals solo choreography everything yeah and I I know a lot of people get behind in school if they don't do the the Mm -hmm. online or the charter school and everyone kind of does it differently some people online school works well and other people they need a classroom setting at least half a day or something Mm -hmm. especially like high school can be harder to keep up with yeah, so you're going into your junior year. Junior year, yeah. Yes. That this is, the, is everyone going, this is the big year? <laughs> yeah, I'm scared. No, don't be scared. Don't be scared. Just keep doing what you're doing, you yeah. know? I mean, I think everyone places so much emphasis on it because they yeah. go, you know, this is the, the year ACT, that... ACT, yeah, yeah, ACT, and then, like, if you're going to college, the colleges are going to look at these yeah. grades, and, and they do, but at the same time, you have a, you're very well-rounded. You've got a lot of accomplishments, so, <laughs> Thanks. you know, do good work, but at the same time, you know, don't put so much pressure that you're, like, stressing out. Yeah. Yeah, because I think I, I remember that junior year walking in, and, and you know what? It doesn't matter what generation you're from. They're all, like, Junior year. Junior year. <laughs> You're like, okay. <laughs> do you want to go to college or do you think LA is in your future? Um, I think either LA or New York. Okay. And it's hard to know because I want to go to college, I think, eventually, mm-hmm. but not right away because dancing is only 
so long and right. yeah college is always there so. yeah and i think that there's so many different ways it, whatever works for you there's so many ways to do it you could always yeah. apply for college senior year mm-hmm. defer and that yeah. way if if your year in new york or la doesn't go the way you want or you yeah. you want something different you can just fall back on that and just fall back on that it's mm-hmm. kind of a good way to do it yeah and the, the good news is that you can go to college at any age that's what yeah. i do like or you can go part-time or online there's so many different ways yeah. to do it and your sister just she just graduated or a couple years ago. Yeah, Kayla just graduated a year ago. I think it was a year ago. Oklahoma yeah. City University. I was yeah. telling I was tell, I didn't go to OCU, but I had a lot of friends from OCU, so <laughs> yeah. I was telling her all my stories of my friends from OCU. <laughs> yep. Kristen Chenoweth. <laughs> I name dropped, but I was like, I knew her before she was Kristen Chenoweth. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy when you think about mm-hmm. it. So amazing. So this was a big thing because I saw you last summer after um, the tour and everything else. Yeah. You were here for VidCon, and it was in the middle of season two of World of Dance. Yeah. And you gave me a great answer for the question of why you came back after being so successful on season one and why you came back for season two. Do you remember your answer? Or should I prod you for it? Should I give you a little prompt? Yeah, what one was the one I said? You said that you didn't want to live a life of what ifs. Yeah. You knew the outcome when you came back. You Mm -hmm. didn't have to sit there and watch season two from your house. Yeah. You knew how it worked out. Mm Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't have to think, what if I would have went back and... What if this happened and what if that happened? I just want to be like, now I'm just going to do it. You have your answer. Yeah. You have your answer. And I think that that's great, too, because I think that um, as adults, sometimes we don't take the risk. And I think that was a really good risk to take as, you know, someone who was 15 (laughs) at the time at that point. Because I think as adults, we're like, well, I'm just going to rest on my season one thing and not worry about it. And then you do start questioning, "Mm, maybe I should have gone back. I don't know. Do you look at season two now thinking that was a success? Because I think it's a success. Yeah, it was amazing. It was a totally different experience. How was it different for you? Um, well, World of Dance changed. Like, some of the way they do things, like, reorganize some stuff. Because it was the first season, so... The taping schedule yeah, was much better, I think. it's more of, like, a tester. But now it's more organized and everything. So it was really different. And schooling was different. Obviously, there were a ton more acts, way more people there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was it was a lot bigger, the cast. I know, too, that they were flying people kind of in and out a little yeah. bit more, so you weren't... 34 stuck. days, yeah. Yeah, it was a lot that first season for mm-hmm. everyone. Everyone got very tired quickly. Yeah. It, did it give you a little more time to, like, go back, work on your solo? Yeah, chill out a little bit. And, yeah, I didn't have praying ready yet, so I had the time to go back, work on it, choreograph it everything that's good yeah that's good <laughs> no i love that you went back because i think a lot of people and, and i think dna went back yep and luca and jenna lynn came back there were there oh in the lab of course the lab i don't know how <laughs> i forget the lab the winners but um i think that that's really important and they didn't do that in season three but i think i would like to see some people come back because you get to see how people have matured and yeah. and different approaches and things like that because you have the wisdom mm-hmm. even though you know season one even though season two is a bit different you have the wisdom of going i know what that stage looks like i know yeah. what the steady cam guy is going to be behind me <sighs> j-lo might look at me you bring something different to the table yeah um yeah it was hard it was scary but I'm glad I did it. I don't have any regrets about it. So it was awesome. So good. That is so good. (laughs) Now, in terms of after two seasons on World of Dance, did you feel the pressure to be like, I have to do something else? Or were you happy to go, I need to go back in the studio. I want to train. Yeah, training for sure. I feel like as like an artist, you're always going to like not feel like good enough no matter what. And like, I think people think that If you have a success like that, it'll go away, but it doesn't. Mm -hmm. So you really just have to, like, figure out a way to, like, assure yourself and stand your ground and, yeah. And and keep on working. Yeah. And you've been doing a lot of the conventions. You were out there competing this season, weren't you? Yeah, with my team. I didn't do any solos. No solos. Was that a choice that you made? Yeah. (laughs) Why did you make that choice? I don't know. I think... I don't know, really. I just... I never just got to it, really. <laughs> it's just like, whatever. Because I didn't know if you were like, I just kind of need a break. Like, I want to be part of the team. Yeah, I, for sure. Do you sometimes feel, I, I wonder this, like, do you sometimes feel like you walk into a room because people aren't going to know who you are, of course. <laughs> do you feel like, I'm like, I'm Eva, I go. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, in, and being part of a team, you're just like everyone else. Yeah. I it's different. sometimes that's 
nice. Yeah, the year before last, I didn't do any competitions, no like teams or anything, but I went back this year and yeah, it was fun. Do you think you'll do a solo this coming season? Um, probably for performances and stuff. That's what I did this year. I'll probably do the same as last. Okay, and <laughs> just to compete with your team. Yeah. I think I'm going to try and come out to L.A. more, so I won't be with the team, really. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to try and come to L.A. classes, and I'm really trying to get into acting. Yeah, let's talk about the movie <laughs> you did. Okay, it's called The Last Astronaut. Yeah. I have seen a bunch of the photos, and you look kind of amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How did this come about? Um, well, Welling Films, his name is Sean Welling, mm -hmm. and he just reached out to my mom after, I can't remember if it was after season one or season two. I think it was after season one. Mm -hmm. And he was like, oh, I'd love to have Eva in the movie. And my mom was like, uh, I don't know. You, like, who are you? Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> and he asked like, a few more times. And my mom was like, saw a video that he's done before. Mm -hmm. And it's called If I Could Talk. And my mom was obsessed because we're obsessed with dogs. <gasps> it's about a dog? <laughs> it's about a dog and like life journey, everything. My mom was like, okay, we're doing it. So <laughs> we went. We went to Houston, filmed it. We got the script, and it's about an astronaut from space. That's me. <laughs> yes, and we've got some good photos. Yeah, there you Oh, there you are. So, with these on the beaches in um, Texas? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, what happens to you? Because it looks like you crashed or something. Yeah, I crashed. <laughs> <I'm> like... <laughs> well, it's about two best friends from Earth, obviously. Mm -hmm. And they're just, like, taking pictures. It's, like, based on a true story. It's, like, some stuff is obviously, like, different <laughs> they're not astronauts yeah. so I'm taking it but they're well, best friends yeah they're like they were just sitting on a beach taking pictures and all of a sudden like stuff went weird and they got a picture of something falling out of the sky or like a ufo or something and mm -hmm. like that actually happened so the guy went gave him nasa everything so yeah that's what it's based off of. okay but, so they yeah. they saw like a ufo photo they gave it to nasa mm -hmm. and yeah Cool. For that was the real life version. Real but life this version. version's different. Well, I love this. That's like a is that a lightsaber? Is that your own version of Star Wars? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a part of the spaceship. Or I something. love the makeup too. It's so Thanks. cool. Thank you. And this went to a film festival recently. Yes. And did you win an award? Yeah. <laughs> Tell us what you won. Um, Rising Star. <gasps> <gasps> this is so good. Thank you. That means you're a really good actress. <laughs> they don't Thanks. just hand out awards, you know. <laughs> What is it about, because like, you were always um, a great performer in terms you. of your dance, so you already have the ability to act, but have you been taking lessons, or do you feel like you, there's something in you that, you know, you're like, I, I have this actress in me? I haven't taken any lessons, but I'm trying to go out to New York and do some of the like, intensives and everything. Good. So yeah, I'm really trying to get into that. For, yeah. I have a big question, because you know, there's always the Broadway question, do you sing? I'm in singing lessons. I sing okay. a little bit. Yeah, no, that's good. You need to be a triple threat. I mean, <laughs> there's always plays you can do too. You don't that you don't have to sing, but yeah, we already know you can dance. So. <laughs> Thanks. I know. Do you have a dream role you would love to play in Broadway or anywhere? Cat and Seventeen. Really? I'm obsessed with Hunger Games that's and so also good. Harry Potter. Obviously, that's not gonna happen because they're over. But like. Those but are something so cool. like that. There's yeah. always characters that have certain traits like Katniss and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Hermione. Everything. Yeah, you like strong, strong <laughs> young women. Yeah. That's good. I like that. <laughs> you know, but it kind of it's kind of how you dance too. Nice. You dance very strong. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> now I'm, I have all these all these ideas, of course. <laughs> um, do you have an acting agent out here in Los Angeles now? Not an acting agent. I'm with MSA though. Okay, and, and they can represent you yeah. for, for acting and things like that. Mm -hmm. This is good. Mm -hmm. Now, um, in terms of coming back and forth to L.A. and auditioning and doing things like that, um, what are you hoping that maybe you'll wind up out here permanently before you finish high school? Because I know you'll probably, as you, once you're 18, you can yeah. go to either city. That's always the dream, but my <laughs> parents, Minnesota. I so. know. You're, I know. That's. I remember <laughs> your mom the first time I met you, which was backstage in Thousand Oaks at the at mm -hmm. the tour, and she was like, "No, we're staying in Minnesota." But I think, in many ways, that's a really good idea. Yeah, it's nice to have 
norm normal <laughs> like growing it up it is but, it yeah, is it's already not normal because online school everything so right and you're traveling a lot and you have these opportunities yeah. that a, a regular kid wouldn't but i think that coming back home all the time just to your roots yeah. and people that know you as just eva for sure as eva i go i'm always like eva i go <laughs> it's one word you know that right yeah. <laughs> um but it's I do think it's a good decision. Do you do you agree or are you sometimes like, Mom, I want to be in L.A.? <laughs> <laughs> For sure I want to be in L.A. a lot. But yep. I, Minnesota's nice. You know, my it's, trading, my studio's there. Yeah, and your friends are there. Yeah, the friends are there. So, yeah, it's hard. I'd like to be in both, you know. <laughs> yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, you probably get, you're not age eligible yet, but you probably get the so you think you can dance question quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, I do get that question a lot. Would that be something on your radar or do you think, you kind of feel like you did the competition show. Um, maybe like if the doors open for it, mm -hmm. that'd be cool. I think I did audition for the Next Generation you one. Did yeah. Did you audition in Chicago for Next Gen? Yeah. <laughs> there were a lot. A lot of Chicago was a, a lot of mm -hmm. people I know auditioned in Chicago. Yeah, I got cut like the first round though. So how dare they? <laughs> Do they know what they missed? <laughs> they missed what world of dance capitalized on. <laughs> um. But do you think um, we see, you wouldn't be eligible next year? So you would be twenty twenty. Oh, I turn eighteen at the end of twenty twenty. At the end of twenty twenty, yeah. so you wouldn't be eligible until season eighteen. We're in sixteen. Oh, weird. Yeah, because <laughs> uh, they do, they do the auditions usually like January February. Yeah. So it'd be it's still Sheesh. another couple years away. Anyway. Yeah, you got time to think on that mm -hmm. for sure. We had a couple of fan questions. I want to make okay. sure I get to them because I think that they are really good. Um, let me pull this up. Uh, things that we haven't talked about. Okay. Um, well, who is your favorite choreographer? This is from Cheryl. Oh, that's hard. Yeah. Is there someone you always gravitate towards that you see? Well, of course, I love my originals, like Michelle Larkin, my sister. The OGs, <laughs> yeah. yes. Your sister does a lot of your... <laughs> yeah, she helps me a lot. Good. Um, but, like, out here, mm -hmm. I love... Like Tice, Tassandra, Kyle, Tice Dario. yeah, Kyle. Um, Keon. They're Ke all yeah, so there's some good ones. Yeah, They're, Nappy Tabs. Nappy I mean, Tabs. <laughs> they Nappy Tabs is like next level. I, they're so busy. So busy. I don't know how they do it. They their stories. I'm like, geez, you were just where. <laughs> I interviewed them, um, and this is going back like a couple years ago, and they mm -hmm. had choreographed and I think, you know, done some creative directing on one of the Disney holiday specials. Mm -hmm. And they were at an airport, I think, in New York City, about to hop on a plane, and they were like, uh, I think Napoleon was going to one city, and Tabitha was going <laughs> to crazy. another city, and little London, yeah, he yeah. was still a little bit smaller at the time. I don't, he was going with one of them. I mean, it was like, it's crazy. Um, and, and they were, you know, on speakerphone in an airport, like screaming into the phone so I could hear it and record it. And, <laughs> but, you know, they made the time, which I certainly yeah. appreciate. And, but it's really amazing what they are doing yeah in different countries every day it's crazy it is and, and they're opening doors for a lot of dancers mm -hmm. too not only just dancers but people who want to step up behind the scenes as an assistant yeah. choreographer and and things yeah. like that so uh oh, i like this one too most important piece of advice for younger dancers who want to be the best dancer they can um just remember everything happens for a reason never give up keep working hard i just feel like hard work is key it and, is. Yeah, never giving up. And I think, too, sometimes, and this is the age of social media, people just see things on social media yeah. and think, that comes so easy to them. Right. And no one posts the bad stuff. The day so. you can't do, like, a double pirouette to save your life. And those do happen yeah. when you're like, I, I have a cold, my balance yeah. is off, my ears are clogged. Uh -huh. No one ever posts, like, the bad stuff of their life. It's always, like, the best parts. And it looks like their whole life is just the best parts, but it's not. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I'm just here with Lee Twins all the time. <laughs> yeah, it is. And I think that's, in some ways, I, I think we should all, every once in a while, post, like, this was a bad day in the studio and this is what happened. Yeah. And then you can post, like, the next day and go... But when I had a good day in the studio, yeah, this is what it looked like. Because sure. I think that's the reality of it is it's they're so different. Yeah. They're so different. Um, ooh, how has your dancing evolved from World of Dance season one? <laughs> that's a good one. That's hard. Um, I've definitely been training a lot. I think my technique has gotten more solid. Mm -hmm. Like my turns in season one were always a little shaky, but I've gotten them more down now. And 
I used to be like really like oh this part this part this part this part really fast like really strong everything I've loosened up a little bit I think yeah because you can do soft too like I think yeah. that's we're multi you know faceted mm-hmm. people and you can be multifaceted <laughs> as a dancer too yeah so. not everything has to be so like hardcore yeah everything can be like breathy a little bit that's chill cool. out you know I know but I think sometimes too that comes with with age and you understand like you know, I think when you're yeah. younger, you're just like, oh, I'm going to show you how strong I am. <laughs> but then you also realize that we have different emotions. We feel different every day. Yeah. And you don't, I, I don't feel powerful every day. I would like to, but there are days where I'm like, oh, I'm just feeling a little more, <laughs> you know, low key. And, yeah. <laughs> and that comes through in movement, too, mm-hmm. which I think is so great. Um, and then what do you think sets Larkin apart from other studios? Oh, man. That's so hard because Larkin's all I've ever known. You know, I've never had right. anything to compare it to, so I don't know what other studios are doing. Yeah, I keep on saying it's the technique. Like, the, yeah. I keep on going back to the technique. I mean, but you guys also know how to perform as well. It's not yeah. just technique. We do like a whole bunch of ballet. Like, ballet is one of the most things we take. We also rehearse a lot, and mm-hmm. it's amazing, like, the consistency. So, it's like every day. We're there every day. So. Are you guys there six days a week? You have like Sunday off, or? Um, well, it depends if you do small groups or not. Yeah. yeah. So small group rehearsal is usually on Friday, and senior line won't have dance on Friday. But a lot of people are in small groups, so they're there. So, so then you're at seven yeah. days, and you're just living mm-hmm. there anyway. Yeah. It's all good. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, I, one thing I, I know we didn't mention, and um, I know when Diana Pombo was here, she was talking about the video you guys did with Jennifer Lopez. Yeah. A more, more, more. <laughs> um, for you... <laughs> what was it like doing that? Because Diana, she was like, it really was like a dream of a lifetime to be. Yeah, it was crazy. It was nothing like you would imagine. It was like shut down a whole subway just for J-Lo. In New York City. In New York City. Um, it was empty. They had a whole subway actual train there. And it was just crazy that everything was just stopped. Just for like the Was one this person. in the middle of the day too? Or was it at Yeah, middle of the day. It was like all day wow. long. Yeah. And the subway was so hot and we we're down there all day and they put me in like sweatpants and a flannel. And did I'm you have like, shoes on or did you have to dance barefoot? Yeah, I had shoes on. Okay, good. Yeah. Because uh, I was like, the subway is really pretty yeah. dirty. And I just think contemporary dancers, you guys, are like, you guys are always barefoot, but you don't want to be barefoot in a <laughs> no. New York City subway. No. But that's kind of interesting because, I mean, to think, like, who can get the New York City subway shut down? J-Lo. J-Lo. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a cool experience that you got to um, share that with her. And the lab was there, I know. I think Trey Dorego from yeah. the lab. There were a few and of Kea. them. And yeah. Kea, yep. Mm-hmm. And then Diana. Diana. Was there anyone else from World of Dance? Ian was oh, there. Ian, of course. Yeah. How did I forget? Ian? <laughs> we love Ian. Um, that, well, that's well, that's an amazing, you know, sort of testament to how much she appreciated your talent, don't you think? Yeah, it was crazy. That was crazy. Yeah, you, you, your mom gets the phone call and you go, "What? I'm doing yeah, what?" Yeah, they just email and they're like, "Oh, potential video Are you available." Yeah, <laughs> you're like, "Oh, I got a dentist appointment. Yeah. I'm not gonna be able to fly to New York." <laughs> I got a dentist appointment. <laughs> of course, you do it. All right, I'm going to ask you a really hard question, and it is a hard question because you are 17, <laughs> um, and I don't expect you to have this figured out, but if you could think, for like, five years from now, where do you think you will be? Where do you, What does Eva Igo's life look like in five years? Ooh. Your dream life for now. Being, like, either a big movie... What is it called? Like the series, like a movie series. Oh, like a series regular and a, or a movie. Yeah, like the Harry Potter. Hung, one oh, of like those. a franchise. Franchise. Yeah, that's the word yes. I'm thinking. Of. I was like, yeah, franchise <laughs> or TV show, Stranger Things. Oh, Grey's you're Anatomy. perfect for Stranger Things. You know that <laughs> you fit right into the '80s. Yeah. We just need to get you like some fluorescence and because they're they're at the mall this season. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, I love like Grey's Anatomy, Stranger Things, The Fosters was amazing. That's a great show. Yeah. So good. It, All yeah. those ones. That's a, and that's a Disney. 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 Disney Plus is coming up. They're going to yep. add tons of content. Uh-huh. So <laughs> That would be so cool. Like High School Musical. That's crazy. Yes, we need you to get to. They auditioned in Utah. We yeah. need to get you to Utah for because I'm. It's they, they'll do more than one mm-hmm, one season on that. Sure. So we'll just need to get you to the <laughs> casting director right there. And I also, my sister choreographing with her. That's really fun. I've been traveling a lot around the country with her. Oh, I've seen that. You yeah. guys are teaching and mm-hmm. choreographing. Yeah, it's been really fun. Like I get to teach a class. She does. We do it together. I assist her. Everything. Oh, 
that's great. Yeah. I like the sister team, too. Mm -hmm. I've got to imagine that dance, like, keeps you guys very close together. Yeah. Yeah, she's amazing. I love her. So, I, and that's sweet though too, because having being able to do my sibling lives all the way across the country, and I yeah. don't get to see him that often. Mm -hmm. So, being able to see your sister and and have even work experiences <laughs> together, that's cool. Yeah, it's right. really cool. Five years. We're gonna go back in the vault. Back in the five vault. years, and we'll see how much this comes true. I want to tell you though, we had Teddy Coffee here. Um, on August 1st, 2017, I put it on my Instagram page, you guys, um, and he said, I said, what is your dream that you haven't done? Because he was working with Backstreet uh -huh. Boys at the time, and he said, my dream is to work with Christina Aguilera and do a uh -huh. world tour. Well, guess what he did less than two and a half years later, That's two years crazy. later. crazy. World tour with Christina. He just, he just so came cool. back from Russia. That's so cool. And I put out the clip because I was like, we manifested it. So we're going to manifest it. here today, <laughs> Eva. It's my new thing. <laughs> I'm like, what can we manifest on this show? <laughs> so we're going to manifest a franchise for you. <laughs> or maybe a high school musical for... <laughs> Sound good? Yes. Fantastic. Sounds great. Well, I want to thank you so much for being here. You are such a delight. Thank you. I always like talking with you. Thanks. Thank you for but having I'm, me. Yeah, I'm glad we finally got you in the hot yeah. seat. Yes. You, you, it's okay, right? The, the hour was went by fast? Yeah, that was really fast. Good. I'm glad to hear crazy. that. It was a blast. I know. All right. <laughs> well, if people want to follow you, if they're not already seeing you on Instagram and Twitter and everything, yeah. where can they find you? Um, Instagram is EvaIgo2002 and Twitter is EvaIgo and Facebook is EvaIgo2. <laughs> so easy. Easy to spell. Yes. I love that. <laughs> three letters, three letters. You're done. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't imagine how many people are like, how do you spell that? And I'm, I'm like, like, really? <laughs> I-G-O. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank Have you. Have fun with Keon today. Thanks. Don't forget to deliver that message. <laughs> of course. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us here at To The Point. We want to thank Popcorn Talk and Dance Network, of course, for presenting us. For all your news. Dance news, check out dancenetwork.tv. We have a really special episode next week that has never been done before here on the show. Um, I'll be like giving you guys a few clues a little later on this week, but I promise you, if you're watching So You Think You Can Dance this season, you don't want to miss it. We will see you all next week on To The Point. <laughs> From producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, and the entire Popcorn Talk Network, we would like to thank you for tuning in. For questions or comments, be sure to visit PopcornTalk.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of the Popcorn Talk Network.